So this is a little hello from Stokes Croft for uh, Futures Ventures and of course it would be pouring with rain when uh, I decided it's time to shoot this film. So we're outside Stokes Croft and um, outside the PRC and I just want to show you some of the things that we're getting up to. Basically we're pitching for money from you fine people and I just wanted to show you what we're up to. So this is our property. It's, it runs from, it runs from the corner up there all the way to where that gentleman's painting over there. That's Benoit down there and we're going to go down and have a little look. So, in that building we've got street survival going on and uh, then here I'm just going to show you Benoit who's painting a wall that we built back in 2011. It's been painted since 2007. Uh, this one is for Bristol Transformed. This wall has been painted 140 times. Um, and then we're going to go into the yard to show you all of the stuff that we do in the yard. So it rain has stopped play but there's sculpture going on and basically what we've built is a place that it's a, a workshop for social change in here is our uh, workshop for doing design work in here is our kit room so mountains of paint power tools kit loads of kit this is the practice space. Benoit, as I say, is just painting that wall. And so it goes. I'm now going to take you into the China space, um, which is next door, and we'll walk through that space. And um, so everywhere you look, we've got street art going on. The idea was for this place to be an outdoor gallery, and that is what it has become. And uh, before we go into the China space, I'm going to show you what we've got going on in the event space. Uh, what's going on in the event space at the moment? Every Tuesday, two to four, we run a street survival. meeting where people can share skills all right all right then so it's in here so this is a this is a space this is a space that that it's all going on um, all right and this is the lovely france oh you're lovely and this is the lovely Glenn. Glenn, you've been selling Dope magazines? Yeah, I've been selling for the last three months now. Okay, so what is Dope magazine? It's a uh, People's Republic Stokes Croft anarchist headquarters paper. And I'm the official People's Republic Stokes Croft anarchist that's headquarters a, vendor. That's a lovely puff for PRC, but actually it comes from London and it's, it's an anarchist paper that we distribute. And it costs you how much to buy? Um, it's actually free. It it's free anything. and then you take the money. That's right, yeah. Good boy. Thanks. <laughs> All right. So, um, I'll see you later. This is the China shop. This is not the China shop, this is the workshop. And you can see some of the work that we do. And we're going to go inside so you get a feel of what's going on. So all our crew are busy working away. Everything has got codes on. So, get in and out. Right, Flora, right there. Uh, right, Chalkley. So, so here they are in the engine room, batting away. Bev, Bev what, what project are you doing now? We're doing uh, 300 mugs for uh, Bristol Drugs Project at the moment. All right, Do you want, can you show us what it is? So it's uh, a little 
uh, 34 years is their anniversary, is their contact details, um, a quote from some of the service users, and then some original print called Rose of Tralee, which is, uh, which is a rather original 1950s, 60s print. Um, also, there are all going to be lots of different what, different types of prints, so yeah, this is just one of the, of the original designs. And have you got that sample George Monbiot knocking about? I put here? it in a the box there. Alright. Thanks, Scott. It's down there. So this is the kind of thing that we're doing. Political stuff. And um, so it goes. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Scott. All right, See, you later. See you later. So in the back here, we've got unending boxes of original historic print that uh, we got from the factories. And then we add our own stuff which we make ourselves, which uh, so kind of, it's like political advertising if you like, it's artwork, political advertising, you can see some of the work that we've done here, and then when the wear is finished, Bristol yeah, pounds. Bristol Pound, this is stuff we're doing for Bristol Pound, so um, School of Activism, so this is all the stuff we've got going on. And um, one of the big issues we've got is that we just need some capital to um, be able to be more courageous in the stuff that we make. So here we're coming out into the workshop and this is all the ware that we buy in from Stoke-on-Trent and then these are the kilns that we have and these are this is the stock room and so we kind of have got a cottage industry thing going on really here we produce to a certain scale but the potential is massive and um, really what we're looking at is a, perhaps a Royal Dalton activist organization and we want to be doing a fine art based element to what we do so we've got down in some of these boxes some extraordinary reworkings of um, willow like this so it's taking print and working it in different ways um, and we've got the possibility of doing you know if you're looking for street art that's going to hang around a bit then this is something that we did as a little experiment this is what we were going to do on the streets and then in the bear pit and none of that happened because people didn't want to play. So you've got imagery here that this is all fired on. Um, that's it. There's, there's one of the walls that we've done. And then likewise on this side, this is, a, the, this is actually an image of the, the, the wall that leads through to the yard which you saw earlier, which is this doorway so we've been at it for a long time and we've built a lot of stuff and it's all about voice and it's all about political change and really the idea is that we create an exemplar of how to run and fund an organization without funding now this might sound a bit paradoxical given that um, we're trying to blag 10 grand out of you, but that is, <laughs> that is what it is. We are now in a situation where a little bit of capital would really be helpful. If you imagine Stokes Croft and we've just set up a land trust and we have the potential to own for the community under a land trust There's always a lot of that going on. So, this is Jamaica Street Artist Studios, the big red, red column building. There's 40 working artists in there. We've got it in place so that that building can be community owned. All of this here is up for community ownership and we have a route in order to do that. And the aim is to, to self-finance the whole lot. So the business model is being evolved. We've got lots of the right people engaged in that 
And this is lovely Jim who runs Bristol Housing Action <laughs> Movement. Well, How's it going? What's He's this? on his way to the street survival. And this is Biggles. One Thank of you, Christopher, for your help. You're doing a wicked job, my brother. Thank Welcome you so much. Bristol. I'll give you your fiver in a minute for saying that. Thank you very much. So it's all going on. And now we're going to go up into the office space. Oh, the other place we got going on, if I can get in there, is uh, we have got a print studio. Um, which I'm going to have to get the cues out to find it. So we call it the People's Workshop. And um, so that riffs on the idea of the Atelier Populaire. We've got all this stuff going on with... Um, I, I, I visualise what we're doing here as uh, uh, in line with the Kunsthaus Wein in Vienna. That sort of hundred Wasser esque approach to buildings. Uh, borrowing from the past in terms of political movements and um, so we are doing a lot of stuff with XR we're going to be doing coming up and this is our screen printing room so we're kitted up bed drying racks washout room um, so everything is there but the seed capital is not and that's really what we're pitching to you guys for. This is a print we made last week. This is for the, um, oh, the uh, the nuns of something or other. I can't remember. They that was a gig we did on Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Friday and Saturday. We had an art fair. So can't get in, of course, when you need to. Up here, behind the screen, is Bristol Cables offices. They are a cooperative newspaper and they are soon to vacate the building because the space isn't big enough. So that would be part of the space that we use to grow into with a bit of funding. And this is the lovely Lisa. So I'm just filming for Futures Ventures. Excellent. So Lisa. Hello. Lisa runs the event space and all that type of thing. So what are you up to? I'm just taking a bunch of bookings to fill up the venue for the next uh, few months. So how do you see the model for PRC going forward? Um, I see it as a working collaboration with as many local artists, creatives, activists and makers in the community as we can possibly get involved. Self-funding. Uh, oh yeah, we're a completely independent model. We can't be answerable to anyone else. That really allows us to have the flexibility to respond to whatever's going on at whatever point it is. So what was it you said about the Arnold Feeney recently? <laughs> <laughs> were, I believe there were expletives involved, weren't there? Um, I sometimes find it frustrating that the Arnold Feeney doesn't seem to rate any creative product coming out of this city. Great, thank you.